Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad, where you learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today we are making Parmesan baked zucchini boats. I love this recipe. It's easy, healthy, and if you have a lot of zucchini in your garden, you'll really appreciate this recipe. The ingredients in this recipe are zucchini, butter, granulated garlic, Parmesan cheese, ground pepper, and that's it. The first thing that you need to do is preheat the oven to 400 degrees, which I've already done. Next, line a baking pan with parchment paper or silicone baking mat. So I've got parchment paper and I'm also going to use a silicone baking mat. I like the baking mats because they're reusable, but they both work. You actually don't need either. It just makes cleanup easier. Next, we're going to go ahead and trim our zucchini. I have four zucchini. You can adjust this recipe if you have more or less zucchini or if your zucchinis are bigger or smaller, adjust the recipe and the seasonings. First, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the end off, the stem end. Then I'm gonna cut the zucchini in half lengthwise and lay my zucchini on the baking pan, skin side down. So I'll do that to each zucchini. Next, I just realized I don't need the second pan, but if you have a lot of zucchini, you can double the recipe. So now I'm going to go ahead and score my zucchini with a fork. Lengthwise, just take a fork, push down, go that way. Do it one more time the other direction. You're scoring them because you're making little crevices for the melted butter and seasonings to go into. So that's the next ingredient. We have one tablespoon of butter melted. I just melted this in the microwave for a few seconds. And I'm going to stir this. I'm going to brush the butter over the scored side of the zucchini. Like I said, you could add more or less. I have some left over, so I'm gonna go over them again. And I forgot to mention at the beginning, the zucchini, I washed them and dried them. It will help the butter stick more. If there's water, it kind of rolls off. So I cleaned them and patted them dry before we started. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle granulated garlic. I have a half to one teaspoon. I think this is a teaspoon. You could also use a, a shaker jar that has granulated garlic and sprinkle it and eyeball it. I'm just gonna pinch it and sprinkle it over the scored side. Next in line is the Parmesan cheese. I have two tablespoons, but you can adjust this to your taste. Also, you could just sprinkle from the container. It might be a little easier, but I'll just go ahead and pinch and sprinkle. Lastly, we're gonna sprinkle with ground pepper, about a quarter teaspoon, but this one I'm just gonna eyeball. You can adjust it to your taste. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bake these about 20 minutes until the zucchini is tender and the cheese is light golden brown. So we'll go do that next. Okay, we'll be back in about 20 or 25 minutes. Okay, I think our zucchini boats are finished. Mm, smells so amazing. Look at that, nice and golden brown. Let's go try them. Okay, our Parmesan baked zucchini boats are finished. Smells amazing. I wish you could smell this nice garlic cheesy smell. We'll go ahead and put them on a plate. Let them cool a minute and we'll try them. This Smells so good. These are perfect side dish. You could also top your zucchini boats with some pasta sauce um, or other sauces, but I like them just like this. So you want them tender. These are nice and tender. The cheese is golden. Ready to try. This tastes amazing. It's so simple to make. 
I think you're going to be really surprised how super delicious this is. Let's try it. Adjust the seasonings to your taste. Larger zucchini takes longer to cook. Smaller ones cook faster. So you could leave it in the oven a little longer if you need to. And make it just perfect for you. So try it. And I'll see you in the next lesson.